Hi guys, have you ever asked yourself how to deal with your employees' expectations in times when it feels like they are exploding like never before? Then look no further. I'm Armin L. Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, helping founders and professionals turn into leaders. If you'd like to know more about management and leadership, watch this video until the end. I was talking to one of my entrepreneur friends recently and he explained to me that he was struggling in negotiations with his employees. In his experience, their expectations were skyrocketing and he did not know what to do about it. So I thought to myself, how would I approach the issue and came up with five strategies I will share with you right now. Before I begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you will always be informed about my newest videos going online. First of all, and this goes for pretty much any negotiation and that's my first strategy, you will take part in Be Honest. Let everybody know what you want but also what you don't want. Tell your potential employees that uh, you that they'll get great benefits but that you also demand a lot. If they're put in the work only then do they deserve to get the rewards. Secondly, define your walk away line in the negotiation. Do not give in to something you weren't willing to um, do before the talk started. Stick to your guns, stand to your ground. If for example someone asks for completely unreasonable things in terms of working hours, location or salary, decline it if you believe that it is over the top even if you desperately want to hire this person or continue working with her. My third tip is to explain the rules for all people who want to work for you. For example, if somebody wants to earn a lot of money, there is a lot of work to be done and a lot of value to be added. There is no free lunch at your company. Number four, pay exceptionally well and make your staff work hard. If you pay significantly higher wages or salaries than the market, let's say 20% more than your competitors, you can make your employees work a lot, of harder, a lot harder for the success of your business. My last tip is to do everything to create an esprit de corps. Your employees must form a team and be motivated to work together towards a common goal. If you want to know how to do this, watch my video on team motivation by clicking on the thumbnail you'll see at the end in the outro of this video. If you follow these five steps or these five strategies, you will be able to enter a, uh, into a more successful path of working together with your employees, thus leading your business to success while making not only you but also your employees happier in the process. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment with feedback if you like. I will respond personally to all of your comments. If you would like to have some help on one of your specific leadership challenges, please apply for a 100% free personal mentoring session with me by clicking on the link below this video. I will then have a look at your application and contact you if there is a good fit. See you next week. This was Armin L. Rao from Elena Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.